Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you, or we'll be discussing with you, VMware vs VirtualBox, which performance is better. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just on this video. So let's get started. So, in this case, let's break a few things here. Uh, VMware vs VirtualBox. So, first let's go and discuss what is virtualization. So, here's the deal. Virtualization at its core is like creating a computer inside your computer. Now you can install Windows while using Linux, test out weird software without messing up your actual system, or just experiment with different operating systems. Now it's super useful, and honestly, once you get it, you get into it. It's kind of of actually kind of addictive. Now when people talk virtualization, two names always comes up: VMware and VirtualBox. They both let you do the same basic things like run virtual machines, but how they go about it and how well they do it is where things get uh, kind of interesting. Now first, is, let's go and discuss VMware. Now this is more a this is the more polished professional tool of the two. So VMware's been around forever, and they've got a whole suite of products. So VMware Workstation or Windows and Linux. So you also have like VMware Fusion or uh, for Mac OS here, and VMware ESXi for servers. So whether you're a casual user or a full-on system admin, they've got something for you. Now the main thing you'll notice here is with VMware, the is the performance. So it's fast, really efficient with system resources, and it handle, handles multiple virtual machines like a champ. You could have one VM running Linux, another testing Windows app, and it would still feel kind of smooth. It's also super stable here, which is important if you're working on something serious and don't want things crashing randomly. But here's the catch here, it's not free. Now, if you want to try it out, or in this case, but if you're using it for anything beyond personal tinkering, especially if in a wor uh, work setting here, you'll eventually need to pay for a license in order for you to use it fully. Now, let's talk about VirtualBox. Now, this one's from Oracle and it's 100% free. It's open source, no license fees, no weird restrictions. Just download it, download it and just go and start using it. Now, it already gives it a big edge if you're not trying to spend money here. And VirtualBox supports all the same major operating system, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. And it has a clean user-friendly interface, and it's not as polished as VMware, but it's easy to use, even if you've never touched virtualization before. It actually comes with, packed with a bunch of solid features, and you can take snapshots of your VMs, share folders between your real and virtual machines, and set up virtual networking. But here's where things actually shift. Performance-wise here, VirtualBox is good, but not quite as good as VMware. That works fine for everyday stuff like installing another OS or testing out another app here. But if you're running multiple VMs or trying to do something serious uh, resource heavy here, it might feel a bit sluggish. Also, VMware tends to release updates and new features more frequently over time, and VirtualBox can feel a little behind in development here. But honestly speaking, I actually tried both of the softwares here. So if you want something more professional and more polished and a lot fa faster here, well, VMware is obviously the better choice here. But if you want to use it on a free setting and just use it uh, for uh, personal use and just freely use it, well, obviously VirtualBox is a lot uh, more better because, again, it's free, it's open source, and you don't need to pay for anything. But yeah. In this case, choosing between these two platforms or this software actually depends on what you need right now. Now, if you need it on a professional setting, like for example, your company, obviously, again, VMware is going to be the better option for you. Now, if you just uh, want to use this on a personal level or you just want to use this or if you just want to have a free software to use uh, in your office or personally, well, VirtualBox is going to be the better pick for you. So yeah, again, the choice depends on what you need right now, but in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.